Heather Mitz here, running my business, my family, and my life. Hey ladies, let's talk real quick about how to use Google Domains. Um, I use Google Domains. I know there's other places you can buy a domain name. I just chose Google and now I'm familiar with it, so it's the one that I've been using. Um, so first thing, if you just search up here, Google Domains, uh, like so, I, it will take you to a search engine and I just go to the first one, Google Domains, and it takes me here. And then you can search for a domain name. Uh, that's the first thing that you want to do is decide what you want your domain name to be and then you'll want to search it to see if it's available. Um, so obviously you can't use the words color or street or color street in your domain or any derivative, but let's pretend like we're looking for color street. It's going to tell me that they're not available. It will show me that colorstreet.us or .org is available, but we know that we can't use it. However, once you find what you want it, want to use for your Google domain, then you can just purchase it. Most of them are around $12 a year. I use my domain name on my business cards. I use it as where when you're on my business page and you click shop now, it goes to runningtherockies.net. I use it pretty much anywhere that you see my information, you also see this website attached. So they know that this is where you go to order from me. Now that you have your custom domain purchased, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about how I set up my custom domain to ensure that all orders I receive are placed under a party so I don't miss out on any hostess rewards. So if I have a party set up in the back office, I'll take this website party, party website address right here. This is my hostess party that I'm running. And then I'll come back over to Google Domains and click on website. And here you can choose where you want your domain to go to. Um, I used to have it just going to colorstreet.com forward slash Heather Mitz, which took you to my general Color Street uh, customer page, but I have decided that I want to make sure that I don't miss any individual orders not attaching to a party. So now when you go to my website, runningtherockies.net, you're actually pulling up my party that I want it to link to. Now one thing you have to do is remember that in 30 or 60 days when you close that old party and start a new one, you need to come back to Google Domains and link it or forward it again to the right party. Um, or they're gonna go somewhere that no longer exists as a party. But let me show you what that look, looks like. So if I have a customer that goes to running the Rockies.net, they will now load straight up to, here it comes, slowly but surely, my party that I want them to order at. Mine is called order here and PM me with questions. Another cool thing that I do though is if I have a hostess that's having a party, I set her up with a domain so that her customers can go straight to it. So my friend Stephanie's having a party right now and if you go to stephanie.runningtherockies oh goodness, I can't spell, runningtherockies.net you end up at Stephanie's party. And that's great for her because she can easily remember running the Rockies.net because she's my customer. But now all she has to do is tell people Stephanie.runningtherockies.net takes her friends right to her party so she gets credit for it. I also have set it up that my email is Heather at running the rock running the Rockies.net. And the way that you do that is you just come right here, and you click that little email button, put your name or whatever you want it to say. Heather at runningtherockies.net and then I have that forwarded to my actual email. So when you email Heather at runningtherockies.net, it comes to my Gmail account. Um, I don't have a fancy email, I just have a Gmail account, but I forward it and add it right here. You then have to accept it through your email and you'll be all set. Here's another thing that I do with my Google domains and you can find how to do this right here in this little configured DNS. If you come down to what's called synthetic records and you can make subdomains. So I've got a bunch of subdomains. I have a subdomain called apply.rtr which takes you to my application video. I have one called catalog.rtr and that takes you, let me show you that one. It takes you directly to my business page in my album where you can shop from, which I always link 
in my parties. So if you come to catalog.runningtherockies.net, you're going to come to my nail studio where you can shop all the current styles. And that's what I use in my parties. I also have one called fb.runningtherockies.net. That takes you to my business page. Um, this is an old party. I guess I can delete that now. I have one that says join. This is where I send uh, customers that want to become stylists. I send them this link. It takes them right to my join link. Links takes you to a page um, that I built through Campsite, which there's a training on that as well if you guys want to learn more about Campsite. But if you click on links, it takes you to my link page with all sorts of goodness here. Uh, the next thing I have is sample. This takes you to my sample form. Then remember I said I have a Stephanie dot running the Rockies that takes her to her party and VIP takes you to my um, Facebook group, not my business page, but my group. And so you can really customize your Google domain to your hostesses to make sure that you don't lose any individual orders. You can also set it up to go directly to um, to all the different things that you have set up through your business between links and uh, application videos and even if you want to use Color Street's YouTube video on how to apply a Color Street nail strip you could still set that up with your domain you would just come over to YouTube and search let me show you real quick um, Color Street application and let me see if that just quickly takes me right to so you wouldn't want to link to anyone, any other stylist. You'd want to actually find Color Street. So here it is. This one was uh, was posted on YouTube by Color Street. So you could come here to how to apply Color Street nail strips. Oh, it's I don't remember it having that fancy groovy sound. Anyway, sorry, that was a scroll moment. Copy this right here, and then you could come over here and put application and the YouTube website on this side and add and now if you have your customer type in application.rtr or whatever your domain is net they're going to go straight to color streets application video which is a cool way to make it more personalized to your business but you're still showing them an application video so that's what I do and I have not since I started doing that I have not missed an individual order linking to a party because they didn't know to click a party uh, since I started using my domain going straight to the party if you guys have any questions about how to do that just let me know that's it so grab a domain name if that's something that you want to do that matches with your branding and start training your customers on who you are and how to get to your Color Street website